President, please be seated. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And once again, the floor is given to Je co prosecutors la parole to resume questioning. Co procureurs qui you vont continuer leur question. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good Merci, morning, Your Honors. Good morning, Council. Bonjour, good morning Juge. again, Bonjour, Mr. Witness. Maître. Bonjour à nouveau, um, le témoin. When we left off the questioning yesterday, uh, we were discussing um, some of the Vietnamese that were in your village, Ho Chi Minh village. Uh, I'd like to ask you first, after the time when the Khmer Rouge came to your village, were you village, ever aware of them taking any steps to identify who in the village was of Vietnamese ethnicity? Réponse. Answer. I did not pay attention to the issue, so I did not know at the time. Attention à cela, ou je ne savais pas en tout cas. Were you ever aware of any Khmer Rouge going around to families in the villages or houses in the village and asking questions to determine if anyone in the family might be Vietnamese? Vietnamese. Réponse. Answer. I did not know about the matter. They perhaps went to uh, talk with the villagers. Uh, they did not discuss the matter with them. Uh, rather, they went to talk to the village chief and they Alors never sont, discussed with the villagers. Ils ont parlé avec le chef du village, mais ils n'ont jamais parlé aux villageois. I'd like to read you an excerpt uh, Je vais vous lire from un a, a DC CAM statement une of another villager from your du village to see if that refreshes your memory. Uh, this is document E3 slash 7562. <coughs> it's the DC CAM statement of 2 TCCP 869. It's at English ERA. N zero one one seven zero six five zero six five zero two page five one and Kamai zero 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 three four zero five six. There is no French version. And this is what this individual was asked. Question: How did they? And she's discussing, I should say, her husband, Tepchui. Who you identified as another Vietnamese individual in Pochendam village? Question: How did they know that he was Yuan? Were they told about that? Answer: They just knew it. They traced him and knew. Question: Did they investigate to find out how many Vietnamese families there were in the village? Answer: That is correct. That is what they did. Question: Did they ever come to collect statistics in villages and communes? Did they ever come to make any lists? Answer: Yes, they did. That happened during the Pol Pot era. Question: Did they go house to house to collect the data? Answer: Yes, they did. Est -ce ont Question, fait? Question, did you tell them that your husband que vous was leur Vietnamese? Dit que votre mari était Answer, Vietnamien? yes. Réponse, oui. Mr. Witness, after hearing uh, that statement, does that re refresh your memory that uh, during the Pol Pot mémoire, era, that members of the Khmer Rouge would go house to house to ask Rouge questions about the ethnicity of the members of those households? Le groupe ethnique des différents occupants de ces maisons. Don. Réponse. Answer. Concerning the search by Khmer Rouge, concernant les recherches effectuées par les Khmer Rouge, je n'en étais pas au courant. Peut-être que les Khmer Rouge authorities in the village on the matter. I was simply an ordinary citizen at the time. I was not aware of it. Thank you. 
I'd like to Merci. now um, ask you about some of the individuals, sur um, personnes, the, actually, the three individuals that you mentioned, um, that were of Vietnamese ethnicity uh, uh, in your village, and what, uh, what occurred to them during the period of democratic Cambodia. And I would like to begin with uh, Mr. Ngoi, par you Mr. Ngoi. Yesterday, who you said was of Vietnamese ethnicity. Um, and I'd like to ask, when did you last see Ngoi? L'avez-vous vu pour la dernière fois, Ngoi? Answer. Réponse. Ngoi went to Ngoi cut a lumpia plant so with me, and uh, he uh, got moi. married Et il s'est marié in the village. Dans le village. Uh, do you recall Question. what year it was? Vous souvenez-vous de l'année? Uh, that he was sent to cut rumpia vine. Où il a été envoyé à cut rumpia. Réponse. Answer. Ngoi was Ngoi sent uh, a été envoyé to cut uh, a cut uh, rumpia wine, wine uh, with me in late 1976 or 1977. Ankar assigned us to cut rumpia wine for a period of one month. However, we did not uh, uh, we did not go there for nous, nous one month. Uh, we, was there, we were there for only six days, and nous after that time, Anka went to uh, take us back. Ensuite, nous when you say that Ankar came to Question, take you back, uh, can you name uh, an individual uh, who came to take you back? Can you name an individual who came to take you back? Can you name an individual who Answer. Réponse. Saying the deputy chief went Saying to uh, take us back. Chef adjoint est uh, venu nous uh, ramener. And did he give a reason Question. why he was coming to take you back to the village? Pour vous ramener au village? Build. Answer. Réponse. Upon our arrival. Dès notre arrivée. As a member of the group to cut en tant que membre du groupe qui était and en charge at that de couper du rotin, and he told us that nous uh, l'avons vu, Seng, et il nous a dit qu'il avait besoin de nous ramener au village, tout simplement. And can you tell us what happened uh, as you went back to the village with Seng, um, perhaps beginning uh, by telling us how, how many people, people were sent back with Seng to the village in addition to yourself and Seng, Ngoi. Question. 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 Président, veuillez bien faire attention au micro, Monsieur le témoin. Réponse, dix, y compris moi, nous sommes rentrés au village. Nous étions à pied, donc dix personnes, y compris moi-même. Je ne me souviens pas de tous les noms. Parmi eux, il y avait et Ngan. And did all ten of you Question, reach back to Ponchendam village? Ces dix personnes sont rentrées au village de Ponchendam. Sont-elles toutes rentrées? Réponse. Answer. When we return from Knaut village. Nous sommes we, rentrés. At the time we were walking, but Seng was Nous on a bicycle, pied, and Seng était in midway. Et the chain of his uh, bicycle was uh, broken. Chemin, la chaîne de, uh, sa a and, 
at the time, since the chain of the bicycle was broken, à I, as a member of the group, offered to help to repair. But I was told to move on at the time was requested to repair the chain. On lui a demandé à Nyan de réparer la chaîne. And uh, while we were moving, we were uh, thinking chemin, of Ngang and other members of the group. And during the trip, Ngang uh, uh, stepped on a spike and he a got marché injury. Sur une épine et il blessé au pied. Was Ngoy the only one uh, of the group who was requested to stay? When Seng's bicycle chain broke. Lorsque la chaîne de la de Seng a déraillé. Réponse. Answer. Nyan was Nyan stopped. A été and the rest of us told to move on. Rest and nous uh, we were told that uh, they needed Nyan to repair the chain. Et, uh, on nous a dit que Nyan était uh, là pour réparer la chaîne de Do you, Are you able to name Question. the location that the uh, that the, where Seng stopped at? Où, uh, Seng Is there any um, Structure near there that you are able to name or give us any other geographically identified uh, name of that location. Yes, uh, we can name that location. It was Okandal village. Uh, it was a bit away from uh, uh, Wat Jas, and there was. A, uh, you know, old, an old temple Il y avait un there. vieux temple à cet endroit-là. And do you know what uh, what Et chas was being used as at the time? À quoi était utilisé what chas à cette époque-là? What chas? Non? Answer. Réponse. That what chas? Concerning that watch, yeah? Concernant le watch, during the Pol Pot time, it was used as a security center. It was in an sécurité. open field, and what just was located far away from the village. Et il était situé très loin du village. And could you see what chas from where you were stopped uh, with Seng? De là où vous êtes arrêté avec Seng. Uh, no. Since uh, what just was a block by a forest and uh, the village. Did you see any armed Khmer Rouge uh, in the vicinity of where you stopped with Seng? Um, they were armed. Everyone was armed in uh, that location. Just to clarify, when you say that everyone was armed at that location, am I to understand that you did see armed Khmer Rouge in the vicinity of that location where you stopped? And after you, uh, as you continued on to Pochendam village, did you stop at any other villages on the way back to Pochendam village? During the journey, uh, we stopped 
a few times on the nous way to wait for Ngang, but uh, we uh, did not uh, see Ngang uh, coming together with us, and because of this, uh, we moved on to uh, Pochendam village. Nous avons notre route village de Pochendam. And did you see uh, Ngang return at any time after that? Après cela, jamais vu Ngan revenir. When I returned to the village, he had not arrived, and it was about almost six o'clock in the late afternoon. And I heard the villagers. J'ai entendu des villageois say that the wife of Tani, that is Yi Chui, was put on a horse car to the east direction to be killed. Bord, uh, then I eau was afraid that Ngan would have been Nian killed there. The wife that you just mentioned. Uh, can you tell us again who that was and whether that person was of Vietnamese ethnicity? President, witness, please observe the microphone. Witness. The husband was a uh, Vietnamese, and Ni had a Vietnamese wife. However, she looked like uh, Khmer. She got married with her while he was in Phnom Penh. Have you seen Ngoi ever again since that time? From the day that we went to Kata Rumpia Wang, he disappeared since. Did you see Seng return to the village later? I arrived in the village that day, and next morning I saw Seng. When you, uh, either on your way returning to Pochendam or when you arrived in Pochendam, did you hear anyone say anything about what had happened to the Vietnamese in the village? When I arrived in Pochendam village, people whispered to one another that the Vietnamese were gathered up to be taken away and executed. Was Ngoi's wife also taken away? Question. La femme de Ngoi a-t-elle également été emmenée? The wife of Ngoi uh, remained in the village of Pochendam. She Réponse, was not taken anywhere. Vice President, you may have a floor, national lead co a lawyer. Vous avez but, um, Mr. President, my apology to interrupt uh, the Pécanche, questioning by the co-prosecutor. It seems that the witness at one point speaks of uh, Ngoi, and at another instance he uh, speaks about Ngan. So I would like to uh, get a clear uh, understanding from the co-prosecutor which person he refers to. President, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. 
thank you, Mr. President. I, I was um, under the understanding, both from interpretation yesterday um, and um, from discussing with others, that um, uh, what uh, the individual's name, which uh, is spelled at least in English translations as N G A N G, can pr be pronounced in, in two different ways. Uh, one is Ngang, uh, I apologize for my pronunciation difficulties, and one is Ngoi. Um, I realize I may have been um, uh, using both pronunciations, um, and I apologize for any confusion. Um, I do think that due to the questions um, that um, and the answers I've been receiving, the witness at least has been able to understand who I've been discussing. Um, but um, um, I can ask a, a simple question uh, of the witness, um, which is um, just to clarify um, the individual who you were discussing yesterday as um, Ngoi and um, has been at least interpreted in my headphones as Ngang. Um, is that the same individual uh, who is of Vietnamese ethnicity in Pochendam village? I also got confused between Ngoi and Ngang. In fact, Ngoi was the son and Ngang was the father. So actually, I refer to Ngang, the father. My apology if my confusion leads to the misunderstanding. No problem. That, that was confusion of my own creation. Um, and so just to follow up on that, um, let me clarify that the individual that you were discussing that was sent to cut from Piak Vine was Ngang, the father. Is that correct? But man, I... Yes, that is correct. Thank you very much, much, Mr. Witness, and, and thank you, um, uh, Council, for helping me to clarify that. Um, uh, Nagang's wife, who you said uh, was not taken away, uh, was she of Khmer ethnicity or Vietnamese ethnicity? The wife of uh, Ngang was Khmer. And she actually lived in Putyandam village uh, from the, a very long time ago. And did uh, Ngang and his wife have any children at that time during the Democratic Kampuchea? During the Democratic Cambodia regime, they had two children. And one was Ngoi, and the other one was a daughter called Kantop. Kantop literally means a short. Maybe she was short, that's why she was called Mikantop. And do you know if they were taken away during the period of Democratic Cambodia or not? At the time when the, their father was taken away and killed, uh, they remained living in the same house. Thank you. I'd now like to move on to ask you some questions about uh, the, the Vietnamese wife of uh, Lac Ni, who you just mentioned, you heard had been taken away uh, on a horse cart when you returned to Pochen Dam village. Um, First, can you clarify how, how did you learn that his wife had been taken away? Uh, 
at that time, I did know for sure because that was réponse. the plan of Anka. We were not allowed to know. They said that the receiver was taken away for re-education. Do you know if they took anyone else away at the same time that they took her away? When I returned from cutting rumpia wine, I didn't uh, après avoir été know about that. However, vintage, I only heard uh, the villagers uh, talking about uh, the wife of Lightning and, and another one was uh, taken away by Anka for the education. Do you know if the wife of Lakni and Lakni had any Question, children, and si if so, Lachny if they were taken away at the same time? Si oui, ces enfants ont-ils été emmenés en même temps? I cannot recall whether they had two or three children. However, all the children were taken at the same time. Do you know the name of any of the individuals that came to arrest them when they were taken away? No, I uh, did not, because by the time réponse, I arrived, non, they had left. Je suis arrivé, ils I'd like to read you uh, a section of a statement to see if it refreshes your Question, memory. Vous lire la, uh, and this is document E3-5630. It's the supplementary statement of 2 TCCP 844. English ERN 00678289, French 00891890-91, and Khmer 00895420. And this is what um, this individual said um, discussing Lakni. Um, says, Lakni were aware that the Khmer Rouge took his wife and children away to be re-educated by horse cart. They were arrested by Ngoi and Chem. Chem was the cooperative chief, commune chief. Ngoi was his subordinate, the security chief. Close quote. Uh, Mr. Witness, does that refresh your memory that uh, Ngoi and Chem um, were amongst the individuals that arrested uh, Lakni's wife and her children. Arrest. I was not uh, present in the village, I was still in the field, cutting rompia wine. I understand. Um, I, I was wondering if you had heard at the same, in the same fashion that you heard that, uh, that his wife had been taken away, if you had also heard uh, of any of the names of the individuals who had come to arrest her at that time. Do you remember that information? Or if not, please say you don't. At that time, they did not say anything else except that uh, they said they, those people had been taken away. That was all. Thank you. Do you know uh, why uh, Lakni's wife was taken away to be re-educated?
They whispered uh, that those people had been taken away for re-education, but in fact, uh, we knew that they were taken away to be executed. And do you know why they were taken away to be executed? I couldn't know the reason for that. I'd like to read you a passage of a DC CAM statement to see if it refreshes your memory. Uh, this is uh, document E3-7571. It's the DC CAM statement of Horn Han, a nephew of Lakni. Uh, the English ERN is 00598001, French 00657195, and Khmer 00034474. Question, why was his wife taken for execution? Answer, ah, I was likely aware that she was a Yuan. Question, oh, they would kill those who are Yuan? Answer, yes. Question, why did they kill only the Yuan? Answer, I do not know the reason behind that. At that time, Cambodia and Vietnam were at war. Question, you mean during that regime? Answer, yes, they seemed to get rid of that race. They were fearful that its existence may lead to a breaking of the regime's internal secrets, close quote. Mr. Witness, does that refresh your memory as to why the wife of Lakni was taken away to be executed? I object to this question, Mr. President. I'm not sure how the speculation of someone could possibly refresh the memory of this witness when the witness just said that he doesn't know anything about reasons for arrest. He doesn't know anything about uh, where people were taken. As a matter of fact, he doesn't know anything. So I'm not quite sure how um, the speculation of this particular witness could in any manner refresh this witness's memory. If I can respond, Mr. President, uh, I don't believe that counsel has any basis for saying that this is speculation in the first place. Um, he hasn't uh, questioned Mr. Horn Han. Um, second of all, that the uh, very nature of refreshing an individual's memory is that uh, uh, if the individual does not recall information, you read them something, and that might spark them to recall something, and he might have learned it in the same way that he learned that, some, uh, that Lakni's wife was taken away uh, for education or execution, even though he wasn't there. So I'd like that uh, the witness be allowed to answer the question. President, the objection by the International Council for Nuanji is overruled. This kind of question is permissible in this proceeding. And parties can follow this procedure. Witness, please respond to the last question put to you by the International Court Prosecutor, if you remember it. Witness, I cannot recall the, the names of uh, the individual who came to testify here. President, I refer to the question on the individual. Anyway, Deputy co prosecutor please put the last question to the witness again. It seems that the question is rather long. It is difficult for the witness to remember. Please try to make it as short as possible so that he is able to respond to your question meaningfully. Thank you, Mr. President. I will endeavor to do that. 
Uh, Mr. Witness, I read you a passage from uh, another individual um, who uh, was of the opinion that uh, uh, the wife of Lakni was taken away for execution because she was Vietnamese. Does that refresh your memory that you also heard that she was taken away because she was Vietnamese? did not know the uh, real reason or uh, their actual plan because I only knew that they had been taken away when I arrived in the village and while they were being taken away I was still in the field. Thank you. Uh, did you ever um, hear uh, when you returned to the village that the Khmer Rouge had inquired with Lakni himself about whether his wife was Vietnamese. I did not know whether the uh, Khmer Rouge inquired about that. His house was far from where I si lived. It was about half a kilometer away. Was Lakni himself also Question. taken away? Lakni, a-t-il lui-même été aussi emmené? At that time, Lajni was not uh, arrested. However, he became psychotic or crazy, as uh, we said, because uh, he went around in the village crying and shouting because his wife and children had been taken away. Do you know why Question. they took the children away in addition to the wife? I did not know the reason why the wife and the children were taken away. However, I heard people saying that if the mother was Vietnamese, then the children would be taken away as well. However, if the, the father was Vietnamese or the mother was Khmer, then the children would not be taken away. And do you know what the reason behind that uh, method of operation was. Ce procédé opératoire était utilisé, ou ce mode opératoire était utilisé. No, I could not uh, know that. Réponse non, je ne pouvais pas le savoir. I'd like to read you a statement to see if this reflect, uh, refreshes your memory. Uh, this document is E35-5640. It's the DC CAM statement of 2 TCCP844. The English ERN is 00645403-04. To French is 0065781. One nine and Kamai is zero 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 three four four zero five. Uh, the question is why did they, they also kill the children? Answer. They said that they, the children, were from the Yuan breed, related to the Yuan breed. Question. Why did they kill the children since only the mother was a Yuan? Answer. The children were born from the mother who was a Yuan breed. Mr. Witness, does that refresh your memory as to why they would have a different policy for children of Khmer mothers versus Vietnamese mothers? Mr. President, I object again. Um, it's not only putting speculation um, from some civil party to this witness. 
It's even double hearsay. It's somebody saying that he heard something of someone else. Uh, it is a, a clear invitation to this witness to do some further speculation. As long as the prosecution is at least giving some evidence of someone who was actually involved in the arrest, then maybe this would be permissible, but under this cir these circumstances, it's not permissible. If I may respond, respond, Mr. President, first of all, as with the former objection, uh, counsel has no basis for saying that this individual is speculating. Second of all, hearsay, uh, the institution of hearsay is a common law uh, precept. This is a civil law court. Hearsay has some role to play, but it goes to weight, not to admissibility. Um, and so I believe that the individual um, should be allowed to uh, uh, respond to this question. I will note, although I'm not allowed to use the individual's name because the individual um, is a potential uh, uh, testifying civil party in this case, um, uh, that this person uh, is related to uh, LACNI. Uh, so uh, there is a connection to the individuals that I'm questioning. So I, I ask that I'd be allowed to ask the question. C'est pourquoi je demande à ce que l'on me permette de poser ma question. And witness, you incited to respond to the last question by the deputy co-prosecutor. And uh, Deputy co prosecutor you may uh, rephrase or repeat your question. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, the passage uh, from the statement that I just read to you, um, the individual uh, was of the opinion that the children of a Vietnamese mother was taken because that made the children also Vietnamese. Does that refresh your memory that you heard this justification for the difference in policy about Vietnamese mothers and Khmer mothers? La politique appliquée lorsque la mère était Khmer ou la mère était vietnamienne, la différence de traitement. It was the work of Anka, to my understanding, if the mother was Vietnamese, then the, uh, the child was also Vietnamese. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, since uh, Lakni's wife and his children were taken away, have you seen them again since then? Since uh, they disappeared after uh, people said they were taken away for re-education, they disappeared since. Did you ever hear of a meeting that took place uh, that was called by the Khmer Rouge in Pochendam village before Lakni's wife and children were taken away? J'étais en train de couper du rotin. I understand, but did you ever hear anyone tell you that there was a meeting that was called before Lakni and the children were taken away? Avant que I'm sorry, Lakni's wife and the children were taken away. Lakni et ses enfants étaient emmenés. Je ne savais pas s'il y avait eu une réunion ou pas. Et comme je l'ai dit à ma entreprise, j'étais un villageois tout à fait ordinaire, donc je ne connaissais pas les détails de leur plan. 
question. Uh, I'd like to nonetheless read you a statement, and, and Mr. President, this is my last question in this, in this line of questioning, because um, I see that it's uh, 11.30 already, um, so it might be a, a natural place for a break after that. Um, uh, this statement is E3-5630, uh, supplementary statement of 2 TCCP844, English ERN 00-67-82-89, French 00-89-18-90-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
la Chambre décide de vous donner le temps de 40 minutes. Vous autorisez à prendre la parole pendant 40 minutes en tout, coprocureur et coavocat de la partie civile, et nous ferons cela après notre pause déjeuner cet après-midi. Nous allons nous interrompre maintenant et nous allons reprendre nos travaux à 13h30. Merci de bien vouloir assister le témoin et de l'emmener à la pause déjeuner et de l'emmener, de le ramener dans le prétoire à 13h30 ici dans le prétoire. Les personnes de sécurité, vous pouvez emmener les accusés dans la salle privée à cet effet et de les ramener avant 13h30 cet après-midi. La, la séance est levée.